CBS 12 is taking news to new heights. Sky Team 12. Drone cameras capturing news from a new perspective. Our drones overhead. Breathtaking video that no other local station can get. Getting you closer than a helicopter. Sky Team 12. Sponsored by Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line. Only on CBS 12 News. The one to turn to. And if you think Sky Team 12 is cool. Wait till you see what's coming next. And let's take a look at our Sky Team 12 drone shot of the day. This video is from Peanut Island. The Sky Team 12 drone means new ways to bring you news. CBS 12, the one to turn to. And here's a look at our Sky Team 12 drone shot of the day. This video from Delray Beach. And here's a look at our Sky Team 12 drone shot of the day. This video from downtown West Palm Beach. CBS 12, the one to turn to. And right now we are happy to show you video from our newly unveiled Sky Team 12 drone. This is video of the Jupiter Lighthouse high above. Our new drone means new ways to show you the area and to bring you news up close. And here's a look at our Sky Team 12 drone shot of the day. This video is from the Delray Beach shoreline. Our new drone means new ways to show you our area and bring you news. Remember, CBS 12 is the one to turn to. Sometimes the best way to see the news is from the air with Sky Team 12 drone coverage. And the best way to see the Bahamas is Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line, Palm Beach County's only cruise line and proud sponsor of Sky Team 12. CBS 12 Chief Meteorologist John Matthews joins us live aboard the Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line ship. John? You got that perfect. Thank you. I'm on the aft deck here. And of course, it's a breezy day, which doesn't help with forest fires or wildfires. And of course, our dry conditions as well. I'm going to show this all up in a few minutes. We'll be using the drone to show you the ship, too. So stay with us. Now to a live picture shot from our Sky Team 12 drone from the Port of Palm Beach. That is a beautiful sight. CBS 12 Chief Meteorologist John Matthews joins us live aboard the Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line ship with more on our new tool to bring you the news. John? All right, they call it the Grand Celebration. It's right here. It's the only ship that comes into the Port of Palm Beach, and it looks really good if we use the uh, drone that we have available for us to show you what it looks like. And, of course, I want to point out that uh, the Bahamas... Uh, Paradise Cruise Line is sponsoring our drone, so we're very grateful for that. And it's a goodie to fly in this wind, by the way. And of course, we'll be watching that. They're a proud sponsor of the Sky Team 12, our drone in the sky flying around, showing everybody having fun. And we've got quite a lot of people. Actually, I'm on the 10th floor of the ship, and there, it's one group after another, so it's very, very nice outside. And everybody's getting ready to set sail to the Bahamas for a two day cruise, and that'll just be Super. CBS 12 is taking news to new heights. Sky Team 12. Our Sky Team 12 crew brings you extensive aerial footage. CBS drone 12. cameras capturing news from a new perspective. Our Sky Team 12 drone gives you a bird's eye view of the crime scene. Getting you closer than a helicopter. Taking you closer to the action than any other aerial camera in our area. Sky Team 12, sponsored by Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line. Only on CBS 12 News, the one to turn to. We are following breaking news at this hour where an emergency evacuation is underway right now for residents living in this Riviera Beach apartment complex. As you can see from this exclusive Sky Team 12 video, Hurricane Irma ripped off part of the south side of the building. Only on CBS 12 News, Sky Team 12 is back at the partial bridge collapse along US 1 in North Palm Beach as a meeting of the minds gathers to decide what to do next. Our exclusive Sky Team 12 drone shows us where a section of a bridge over the Irman River on US 1 near North Lake Boulevard suddenly collapsed. Now we shot some Sky Team 12 video up and over the collapse just a few moments ago to bring you an aerial view up and close a view of that bridge and the damage. Now I can tell you we checked with the state and learned this bridge was originally built in 1956 but reconstructed in 2003. State records also show it was last inspected nearly two years ago. Water worries surrounding Lego. Tonight the Army Corps of Engineers tells CBS 12 there are two places where water is seeping through the levee around Lake Okeechobee. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers says between here and the Miami Canal is where at least one of these two seepage areas is located. 
Now at five, the latest in the Jupiter murder mystery. You are about to see the house along Mohawk Street tonight in a whole new way. Our Sky Team 12 drone gives you a bird's eye view of the crime scene where three young people were gunned down and there are still no arrests in this case. Our Sky Team 12 crew brings you extensive aerial footage. This area in the back by the fire pit is where investigators found several items of ballistic evidence. And as you can see from Sky Team 12 video, the fire pit, the pool, this whole back patio area can be accessed by a path that leads to the canal. And this is the path, a jogging trail that leads to a second scene in the Paseos community. Police say this is where a severely injured person was found and a black BMW was towed, taken into evidence. Now you can see a lot of ground to cover in this case. Expect the leading edge for the propellers. That looks good to me. They're just gonna hover up here and go right out. Appreciate that. Happy to show you video from our newly unveiled Sky Team 12 drone. This video is from the Grassy Waters Park in West Palm Beach. Our new drone means new ways to show you our area and bring you the news in different ways.